Hello and welcome to Market Watch for the end of the week that started on the 29th of January and now we're into February as itself. I only want to really concentrate on, on one thing this week. I can talk about the Fed, I can also talk about a few other things that happened overseas, but I think you really do need to look at, at what happened with the CPI numbers that came out on Wednesday and where that really puts Australia and where we currently sit now in terms of expectations around inflation, expectations around rates, what it means for you as an investor and also possibly in the property market as well. So CPI, for the first time since the mid 90s, you've now seen core underlying trim mean inflation have four consecutive quarters at the same rate of 1.8%. It is 20 basis points, so 0.2 of 1% away from where it needs to be, and it does not look like breaking out of it at all. And not only that, if you look inside those figures, what did change on a sector basis is housing. And housing for the first time in the last four quarters that I just talked about, did actually move away from, from where it had been quite a strong contributor to being just a small contributor on that space. And we knew that was coming. We knew that Sydney was slowing down. Places like down here in Melbourne also showing signs of just a little bit of, of softness coming through in price and that reflected in that inflation figure. Yes, headline figure moved up to 2%. Yes, the weighted mean moved up to 2%. And you can see that in the chart on screen, the one I love to show you all the time. But as you can see, that blue highlighted band, that sort of slightly opaque band is their target between 2 and 3%. And that big thick blue band is the one that needs to be in it. And at least increasing to give them the ability to talk about on a communication basis, the basis for raising rates. And they don't have that. They just do not have any form of mandate to start talking about the possibility that rate increases are coming, that 2018 will be the first year that we've seen rate increases since 2011. It just can't happen. Because at the moment, there just isn't any translation happening in that space. And we will get wages coming out in two weeks time. Next week, you do see an interesting sort of thing where you've got the actual RBA statement and also monetary policy movement on Friday and on Tuesday respectively. All of that means that you can get into where they see the current year. And if you look at what they said at their last statement of monetary policy, so here's that table that I also like to release to you and showing that is that you can see underlying core inflation was supposed to be 1.1 1 .1 and three quarters of 1%. And if you have a look, that was for December. So it is what? five basis points better than that with what we got for the last quarter, but they don't expect that to change for this year. And if you have a look into June and to December next year, it's only supposed to get to 2%. So how are we even talking about the translation of rate hikes and the translation of monetary policy towards a higher increase is hard to argue. And I think next week will tell you that as well. So that is why CPI is so important to how you look at monetary policy. It's very important to how you look at your portfolio and also how you look at it from the point of view of what it means for housing, because housing is naturally slowing down. We know macro prudential rules have happened. We also know that the market itself is, is probably impacting the underlying rate that you get. And as I've spoken about many times in this program and also in the economic view with Tony K, is that you know that there is the underlying funding coming from the wholesale side that also impacts it. So such an important week. And from my conclusions, no rates movements in 2018.